it's no coincidence that this painting sat at the very heart of David Solinger's collection in the same way that it sits at the very heart of Picasso's work. It's a painting that reaches backwards and forwards in time. Nineteen twenty-seven is a moment of transition, a moment that gives rise to some of the most visceral, some of the most unforgettable imagery of Picasso's career to date. His marriage to Olga Koklova is on the rocks, and this, coupled with his recent association with the surrealists, with dreams, and with the unconscious, creates a new type of iconography, one which both reaches back to the jagged power of the Demoiselle d'Avignon from 1907, and also forward to the great images of Dora Maar from the war years. In January 27, the month this painting was created, Picasso will meet Marie-Thérèse Walter in the street in Paris, and she will, over the next 10 years, come to dominate his love life and his armor. This is Picasso at a seminal moment. Femme dans un fauteuil captures him precisely where he's at. It is a painting of great majesty and power. Here is Olga as a Madonna-like figure, seated on her throne. But she's no longer the neoclassical beauty of years past, but has morphed instead into an angular, twisted, spiky, sharp-toothed figure. This is an image full of violence, the space is distorted, and the mouth locked in a terrifying scream. Even the color palette, look at these warm, rich reds, and also the dreamlike atmosphere. This is a painting that includes both the darkness and the light. Picasso famously said that none of his paintings depicts one single figure. And while we have Olga here, it's interesting that we can also detect the beginnings of the iconography of Marie Therese Walter that would come to dominate his work during the 1930s. Within this angularity, there's also a great softness in this painting. Look at these gentle curves, the organic forms, the flowing hair. These are all aspects that we associate with the paintings of Marie Therese. Throughout his career, Henri Matisse was an inspiration for Picasso and a competitor. The decorative traceries here in the grisaille at the back and the flat planes of color are clearly a conversation between the two artists. Paintings from this precise moment are incredibly rare at auction. Most of them are in the world's great museums.